Hey, welcome to Rosa Forever. I'm Terry, and in today's video, I'll be sharing some Daniel Fast breakfast recipes you'll love, guaranteed. I know that's a big claim, right? But you've told me that you've enjoyed my other Daniel Fast recipes, and this one is no different. I promise you that you are going to love these recipes. And after you try them, make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think of these recipes. Now, if you haven't checked out my other Daniel Fast recipes, I'll make sure to link the playlist up here so that you can check it out after this video is over. And I am so excited for you to try these recipes. Also in the description box, remember there is a free Daniel Fast food list PDF, which will give you everything you need to be successful on the Daniel Fast. So without further ado, let's jump in and check out these Daniel Fast recipes. And remember, if you like this type of content, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I can know to make more videos just like this. All right guys, let's jump to it. So if you've been looking for Daniel Fast Breakfast ideas, I'm telling you, this Daniel Fast Breakfast cereal is one you have to add to your list. And it's a two-step process, but it will be so worth it. And I'm using almond milk, uh, and I've already made a video on how I made my homemade hemp milk. So you could use hemp milk, you could use cashew milk, and those things you can make at home easily. So that way you don't have to buy the store-bought brands, which has all of these preservatives and chemicals. If you'd like other videos on how to make your own hemp milk or cashew milk or almond milk at home, um, then let me know in the comments down below. All right, so I have 10 ounces of this almond milk. I have um, some creamy almond butter. This is from Costco. And as you can see, this is Daniel Fast Friendly. The only ingredient in this um, almond butter is roasted almonds. So um, as you can see, Daniel Fast Friendly. I have one banana. And then I have um, one third cup of oatmeal. And the oatmeal that I'm using is from Trader Joe's. It's this 100% whole grain oats. It's gluten free. So if you're someone who has an issue with gluten, this will be perfect for you. I have some cinnamon. You guys know I love cinnamon because it helps to keep your blood sugar stable. And then I have over here some organic fresh medjool dates. And I'm only going to use one of those. And then of course I have my Ninja, but if you don't have a Ninja, you can use any other blender or you can just use a food processor. I'll link the food processor and the blender that I use at home in the comments down below. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna add all of these ingredients right to my Ninja and then I'm going to blend them up. And after I add them in, I'll show you what to do next. All right, so to my blender, I added all my ingredients. I added one of the dates, and so my dates had a seed in them, so you always have to make sure you open it up and take out the pit, which is that seed. And then your almond butter, the oil generally sits on top, so you have to mix it up to make sure that you're not just pouring oil. So I added one tablespoon of the almond butter. The cinnamon is really up to you um, in terms of your taste preferences. So I just added, you know, a couple of dashes of the cinnamon and now all I'm going to do is just blend on high really quickly. blended it's time for the next part and that means all I'm going to do I have a stainless steel pot on the stove and I'm just gonna turn the fire on and I'm gonna pour what's in my blender right in the pot I'm just gonna heat that up for a couple minutes and I'll show you what's next so I have my pot on medium heat and all I'm going to do is just pour everything from my blender right into that pot and I'm just going to um, just like I said, cook it on that medium heat for about two minutes, just stirring occasionally. And once it's done heating up, I'm just going to pour it in a bowl and I'll show you what I do after that. So now that it's finished heating up, I added it to my bowl. You can see it's nice and thick. It's warm. You can see that steam coming off of it. And now this is the fun part. If you like toppings, this is optional. You don't have to do that. You can add some toppings. So I have here some organic uh, blueberries. I have some organic chia seeds. I have organic shredded coconut and I also have some organic hemp hearts. And so it's really up to you what you want to add. Um, I don't do the same thing every day so I normally mix it up. So today I'll probably just add some of my blueberries and a little bit of the hemp heart so I can get that extra protein from the hemp seeds. So 
that's what I'm going to add today. Some other days, maybe I'll just do my organic shredded coconut or my organic chia seed. So it's really up to you. If you don't like um, blueberries, you can use blackberries or strawberries, or maybe you can do some slivered almonds. Um, just make it work for you. If you don't like almond butter, switch it out for peanut butter. If you don't like peanut butter, then use cashew butter and then make sure you enjoy this delicious uh, breakfast cereal and let me know in the comments below what you think about this Daniel fast breakfast cereal. All right guys, for our next breakfast recipe, we're gonna make some delicious Daniel fast pancakes. And trust me, you're going to love these guys. And as you can see, I have my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, but you have like a blender, maybe you could use that as an alternative. This is the one I use, it's really cheap. I'll link it in the description box below. And this works perfectly. It's small, but it's like perfect. Um, and so what I have here is one third cups of gluten-free rolled oats. These are the same rolled oats you saw earlier. Um, so I'm just going to put that right in my food processor. And then I have one banana. So all I'm going to do is just add that in here. So first I'm just going to ground up the oatmeal by itself and then I'll add the banana. And then in this bowl, what I have mixed is one tablespoon of flaxseed two tablespoons of almond milk you could use water if you want or coconut milk or hemp milk and then i have a dash of cinnamon and i'm also going to add that in here as well so i'm just going to add my cover on and i'm going to ground this up and then i'll show you what that looks like so here is what my oatmeal now looks like that i have grounded it up and now i'm just going to add my banana right into the food processor as well and then i'm going to also pour in my mixture of the flax seeds and the um, almond milk and then some cinnamon again the cinnamon is optional the flax seed um, you definitely want this to get that nice thickness because remember you're not using eggs or anything like this you could probably also uh, use um, unsweetened um, applesauce as an alternative as well but now I'm just going to put my cover back on and then I'm going to blend that up together one more time So here I have my cast iron skillet over medium heat and I added one teaspoon of oil. Again, you can add avocado oil, olive oil, or coconut oil. It's really up to you. Um, again, if you look at our Daniel Fast Food List PDF, you'll see that I have a list of the different oils that are Daniel Fast friendly. So if you haven't checked out that PDF yet, make sure you do so and it will be in the description box so that you can check it out. This is a skillet I'm using, but any skillet works. I'll link the one I'm using down below if you wanna check it out. And now all I'm going to do is just use a spoon to drop my batter right into the pot. And then obviously you're just gonna like smooth it out. I'm making like little small pancakes because I'm gonna make multiple of these. And then you just make sure that you keep it on the side for a minute and then you can flip it over and again just keep it as long as you want as dark as you want again I'm not going to keep it too long so a minute to two minutes on each side and then I'll show you what that looks like guys how delicious is this looking I actually turned the fire down a little bit lower because I didn't want it to burn so this is what it's looking like it's almost done then I'm just gonna put it in the plate and show you what to do next all right guys so I have two pancakes that I'm so excited about and ready to eat and then I have the same organic blueberries from earlier and the same almond butter that you saw in the earlier recipe. So these are going to be my topping. Again, if you don't like blueberries, use strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to sprinkle some blueberries right on top of my pancakes. And then I'm just going to take about one tablespoon of my almond butter. And I'm just going to drizzle that right on top. And that is your Daniel Fast Pancake. And guys, I promise you, this tastes amazing. Let me know in the comments down below what you think after making these pancakes. If you don't think they taste good, definitely let me know. But I don't think we're going to have that problem. I think you're going to love these. 
Now that you've seen these amazing Daniel Fast Breakfast recipes, which one of them are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this type of content, I'm asking that you share with your friends and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and become a part of the Rose to Forever family. I wanna thank you so much for watching, but before you leave, I wanna remind you, you're only one prayer away. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, take care.